Hi, today we'll be making a fall themed shadow box. First, I'm going to tint a wood frame with the three shades of distress inks. They are spiced marmalade, rusty hinge, and gathered twigs. Now I'm going to rub a piece of wax left from a candle all around the frame until it feels smooth to touch. And I'm sweeping off the excess. Next, I am painting the frame with a white gesso. You can see it's picking up some of the pigment and uh, turns ivory, which is great for the distressed effect I am going for. When the gesso is completely dry, I'm scraping off some of it with a sandpaper. The layer of wax makes it really easy to sand and also you are not damaging the wood at all. And again I'm sweeping off the excess. I have cut a piece of cardstock and another piece of packaging card to the size of the frame. Now I'm going to distress the edges. I'm using the antique linen first, then I'll be using the frayed burlap and finally the vintage photo. I'm taking my Brick Texture Embossing Folder by Sizzix and uh, inking it up with Memento Desert Sand ink. Then I am placing the distressed cardstock inside and uh, running it through the die cutting machine. Now it's time for the die cutting. I'll be using uh, the small medicine window, bushel baskets and uh, harvest pears die sets. All these are by poppy stamps. I will also use uh, the die set called Branching Out. This one is by Memory Box. I'm trimming the window frame and uh, again I'm inking the window with antique linen, then uh, vintage photo and gathered twigs. I'm gluing three window die cuts one on top of another for extra dimension. You can see I have already inked all the die cuts and uh, now I'm assembling the bushel baskets by gluing the hoops on top.
Paper doilies make wonderful curtains for medicine windows, so I'm gonna do that. I'm attaching the pairs to the window with uh, thin strips of tape. Now I'm sticking a piece of vellum on top of the orange paper and uh, then I'll be attaching it to the window with the mounting tape. I'm filling the baskets with fruit. I'm sticking down the window with a double-sided tape. I'm putting uh, some hot glue to the frame to attach the pair baskets. Then I'm sticking down the branches also using the hot glue. Now I'm adding some leaves to the branches. And I will also attach some of the fallen leaves right on top of the frame. To assemble the shadow box I'm putting a double layer of foam squares all around the perimeter. Then I'm putting a panel to its place and finally a piece of corrugated card for the backing. And that's our finished shadow box. Here are some close-ups of the project. Thank you so much for visiting today and special big thanks to those who subscribed to my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.